Welcome to the official YouTube channel for the Colin Coward Podcast. Go on, hit the subscribe button. There you go, right down there. If you wanna be among the first to hear my weekly takes, NFL, college football, more, right there. I do think it's easier to be a harsh parent and get soft. It's much harder to be a soft parent and then pretend to get tough and your kids roll your eyes at you. The NBA has always been a player's league. I do think they've crossed a line. The load management to be is outrageous. Base Hockey doesn't do it, and they have 82 games, and those guys are kicking the shit out of each other and have no teeth. And it's and hockey, by the way, if you've ever gone into a hockey locker room in between periods or after, the smell is... Oh, it, it's disgusting. It is mildew meets perspiration meets death. Those guys work harder than any pro athlete. Colin, I, I lived, when I graduated college in 2009, I moved in to an absolute shithole of an apartment by Wrigley Field, about a <laughs> block and a half away, with four buddies that I've been friends with since third grade. And so already, we're it's five 22-year-olds, 23-year-olds in an apartment that we could afford a block and a half from Wrigley Field. It's disgusting. Now add in that two of the five were big time hockey players like state champions in our high school played college club hockey. And so they would play in men's leagues and they would come back with their uniform and their pads and their hockey sweaters or whatever. And like dump it in the, on the back deck, you could smell it in the front room of the house. Yeah. It is so disgusting, but yeah, hockey live, by the way, is a, it's great. It's a great time because if you're like, Oh, I've ice skated before. I've skied. I consider myself mildly coordinated. And then you go out there and you see these guys are 200 pounds and they're shooting the puck 100 miles an hour and they're hitting each other on blades. Oh, it's incre- so, ridiculous. And my take is they play. They play hard. They yes. drink. They sex. I mean, hockey guys are legendary for they play hard. They fight. They sex. They drink. Rinse and repeat. Complete degenerates. Yes. And we love them. The, yeah. best, of, the best of Europe represented in Canada and the United States. The NBA guys, often on a Saturday night, yeah, I'm going to take a night off. I think it's egregious. I think it's hurting the league. I think it's a cautionary tale what you're seeing with lower quality in men's basketball and massive ratings. You're giving us you're giving us effort. And I'm an NBA guy, so I'm not here. There's a lot of people out there that are dishonest. They're they're not they're not fair actors. I think it's a real it Mark Cuban sold his team. I think Mark Cuban sees it. So when we watched the NBA playoffs last year, it was like, holy shit, this is a different sport. Because I watch, I don't know, 70 of the 82 Bulls games live. I'm a big Bulls fan. We're the home of the Bulls. Good NBA city. We talk about them. And they're bad. They're the ninth seed this year. They're the ninth seed last year. But I watch a ton of NBA. I stay up late and watch West Coast NBA on Tuesday night to watch whatever the game is. I wrote a damn book about the NBA. I love the league. But they very clearly flip a switch come postseason time. And it's kind of insulting. Yes. And, and And it doesn't mean that they're not a thousand times better and more skilled than at any point in the history of basketball, and that it's still a better caliber of basketball than college basketball. But when you know, even if I can't really tell, and I could see Steph Curry drop 50 on a given night, and you can see, you, you go to an NBA game in person, you'll see something amazing, which is another reason why it kicks the shit out of baseball. Because you go to a random baseball game, it's 3 nothing. you see nothing that's impressive. Yeah. Like, okay, what, what the hell did I do other than have some beers in the sun? Uh, but you go to any NBA game, you're going to be see something amazing. Because Every time. Because honestly, even if the top three or four guys sit out and you're disappointed because that's the guy whose jersey you wear, there's more than 300 good basketball players in the world. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So like the eighth, ninth, or tenth guy on a team that never gets any run can come in and drop 25 or drop 30 or can do a windmill dunk or whatever. But I think when we see the switch being flipped in the yeah. playoffs, it's insulting to our sensibilities. Um, we'll get to his book in a second. This is Danny Parkins, co-host of Parkins and Spiegel show in Chicago. It's a very, very good show. And, and Danny to me is probably the most talented young sports talk radio host in the country. He's got kids. He's not that young, uh, but he knows my admiration for him. And I felt that Thank about you. Nick Wright, uh, before I had heard Danny and the book is pipeline to the pros, which we'll get to. 
Uh, yeah. I'm not putting it off because it's really well written. And I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking my, my audience is probably saying, get the goddamn book, Cowherd. Nobody cares about you. So no, no, I, I, I know I, I worked that, uh, that little extra plug in to give you my NBA bona fides. Cause <laughs> and, and by the way, can I, um, cause we do not do a ton of Jordan V LeBron goat stuff. Yeah. It obviously comes up, but it's like a little yeah. bit like taboo to do it locally. It's like, it's a little hacky. It's like Pete yeah. Rose. Should he be in the hall of fame? But I get why it drives a lot of conversation nationally. Can I tell you the thing that doesn't get mentioned enough nationally? Cause it's germane to this conversation. We're sure. Having. Okay. Congratulations to LeBron for longevity for spending a million dollars a year on your body and a wild night out being splitting a two thousand dollar bottle of red wine yeah jordan was doing it with 36 <laughs> holes of golf 10 <laughs> miller lights yeah. a, a run at the blackjack table gambling debt and like sweating out tequila and he was dropping 40 and he was playing every damn night yeah so yeah. Like, can we can we grade on a curve of degeneracy for the era please like that's the thing that no one talked like yes the skill is better the competition is better lebron you know as an underdog he loses in the finals he wins whatever i under yeah. i understand lebron is amazing i'm not trying to take away from him but i'd like to see the guy play 36 holes of golf and then go drop 45 <laughs> on the next i'd like to see it i'm not sure that he could do it no we all meet guys i had a friend one time he would go to south carolina in the summer and um and he would he didn't have a ton of money so he'd do like a three-day vacation he would golf 36 holes three days in a row get bombed each night yeah. and i'm talking 94 degrees in the heat and I'm like, bro, I'm nine holes on Friday out. I, two two Miller lights, I'm out. Some guys, and Jordan was one of them, have this relentless genetic thing. And I, I've gone to college with guys. They could drink all night long, no hangover. And Jordan, to me, is one of those athletes that is once in a lifetime, that did not treat his body with a great deal of love and admiration and just... When I saw the MJ story and he before the Eastern Conference games with the Celtics, he's getting in 18 holes in the sun. I'm like, that's my day. I'm having dinner at five. I'm out. You this guy had pregame steaks. Like he he, <laughs> he smoked regularly. Like he, he mixed booze all the time, <laughs> beer and liquor. Like it, it is insane. And these guys that are like, Oh, we've invested in a wine company. Like we they, we have an in-house sommelier for the Miami Heat. Awesome. Awesome. I, 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 I respect the professionalism, but then you also take off when, oh man, they, they have a two day stay over in South beach. So guys are going to take off. No, no, no. Jordan would close down the club in South beach and then go drop 40. I always felt this about Johnny bench, best catcher ever. Not just because I think he's the best catcher ever. AstroTurf. Oh, Gear. absolutely. By the way, back then, a lot of day games. He would, now Bill Plummer was the backup, so he didn't do both games of a doubleheader, but he would do Friday night in Cincinnati, Saturday, national TV Sunday. Steve Garvey told me it was so hot in Kansas City and Riverfront. Now, he was a national leaguer, right, Dodgers? He said, sure. Pittsburgh, Philly, and Riverfront. You'd have to put lettuce in your shoes to keep it cool. He goes one time in Philadelphia, his cleats stuck to the turf, and Johnny Bench had that gear on. And would go three for four with two jacks. Game goes 12 innings. And he is catching the fourth Reds pitcher. People have no idea. Baseball players in the 70s to about 85. It was 140 degree field in the Midwest. 